Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name's Mike. In this tutorial, I wanna to talk to you about default front matter in Jekyll. And default front matter is basically just front matter that we can define in our config.yaml file. And then that front matter will apply to either all of our pages or some of our pages by default. So if I go over here and I create a new blog post, so let's call this blog post 2017, when I create this post, I can give this just some default YAML and we'll just give it some content. And when this shows up on our website, if I click on my post here, you'll notice that it's not given a layout by default, right? So for each one of my blog posts, if I want them to have the post layout, I have to go in here and physically type out layout post. And then I can refresh the page and then it looks like a post, right? Or imagine that for each one of my pages, I wanted to define an author. And let's say 99% of the time, the author is me. Well, for each one of my blog posts, I have to go in here and manually type in, you know, this author attribute, or, you know, maybe there's some other custom front matter attribute that we want to, you know, put in like 99% of our blog posts. In other words, when you create new blog posts, you don't always want to have to specify like the layout or the author or, or all these different things. You want it to just kind of work and you don't want to have to like go in and do that every single time. So the way that we can do something like that and define all those attributes by default is by defining some default front matter. So down here, I'm going to go inside this config.yaml file and I'll just scroll down to the bottom and I'm just going to make some new room over here and we can define this custom front matter by using what's called the defaults variable. So, I'm just gonna type defaults and then down here, we are gonna give some of the front matter defaults. So the way that this is structured is a little bit complex, so just pay attention. I'm just gonna get, make this an array and then it's gonna be scope. And then inside of scope, we're gonna define a path. And over here next to scope, we're gonna define values. And then over here, we can just put any of the values um, that we want to store. So this scope attribute here is storing this path. And this path is basically just going to tell us like which files we want this default front matter to be applied to. So if you just leave this as an empty string, then these front matter default values will apply to all of the files on our website. But you could also put something else here. So I could put like projects here and then these front matter values would only apply to files that are inside of the projects folder on my website. But for now, I'm just going to leave this blank and then down here we can define some values. So I'm going to put layout equal to post and I'll save this. Now, whenever you modify your config.yaml file, you want to make sure that you restart your Jekyll server. So I'm just going to do that right here. And once the server is restarted, we should be able to see our changes. So over here on this new blog post we created, I'm not defining a layout, but what you'll see is because we define that default front matter, this should automatically use the post layout. But there's actually a problem here, right? Which is if I come over here to this about page, and this isn't a blog post, this is just uh, the about page of our website, and I get rid of this layout over here, What's going to happen is this about page is now it's it's going to use instead of using the page layout it's going to use the post layout because the post layout is the default layout for all of these pages right so instead of using this page layout it's going to use the post layout and these just happen to look pretty similar on our website but what i can do is come down here into my config.yaml file and i can actually specify which types of pages i want this to be applied to so I can put inside of type, I'll just put post. And so what this will mean is that for all of the types of pages that are posts, in other words, all of the pages that are inside that underscore post folder, the default layout will be post. And I could also define another attribute. So for example, I could define like a title and you know, we could just say like my title or whatever. And you know, you might not want to use a title, but this should sort of illustrate this. So, Again, we're going to have to restart our Jekyll server. 
And actually this should be post down here instead of just post. And so now you can see my title becomes the title for this new blog post because we didn't give it a title inside of the front matter. So we're basically just defining default front matter values and attributes for the different types of pages or the different pages on our website. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.